Why is it that a small handful of people control the larger part of the world's wealth, while countless others struggle to make ends meet? A thought-provoking question that brings us face to face with the stark reality of wealth disparity in our world today. Imagine this. On one side of the spectrum, there exists a world of opulence, where luxury cars, private jets and sprawling mansions are the norm. A world where the finest dining experiences, designer clothes and exotic vacations are not privileges, but everyday realities. This is the world of the rich, a life of abundance and excess where money is no object and the world is a playground. On the other end of the spectrum, however, is a contrasting reality. It is a world where people live from paycheck to paycheck, where every dollar counts. Here, a single unexpected expense, like a medical emergency or a car breakdown, can send a family spiraling into debt. This is the world of the poor, where life is a constant struggle and the future often looks bleak. The rich have the resources to ensure their children receive the best education, setting them up for a future of wealth and prosperity. The poor, on the other hand, often cannot afford quality education for their children, perpetuating a cycle of poverty that can last for generations. Even in terms of health, the rich can afford the best medical care money can buy, while the poor often have to make do with inadequate healthcare facilities if they can afford healthcare at all. These are two starkly different realities, coexisting side by side. The gap between the rich and the poor is not just about money, it's about opportunities, access to resources and the quality of life. But why should this concern you, you may wonder? It should, because an unequal society is an unstable society. The wealth gap breeds social unrest, crime, and can hinder economic growth. Moreover, it's a question of basic human rights, of social justice and fairness. So how can you help bridge this wealth gap? Begin by educating yourself about the realities of wealth disparity. Knowledge, after all, is power. Understand the systemic issues that contribute to this gap and engage in conversations around it. Support policies and politicians that promote wealth equality. Advocate for fair wages, affordable health care and quality education for all, regardless of their economic status. Donate your time, skills or money to organizations that work towards alleviating poverty. Every bit helps. And lastly, practice empathy. Remember, the poor are not poor by choice. They are victims of a system that needs fixing. So be kind, be understanding and most importantly, be a part of the solution. In the end, remember, wealth is not just about how much money you have. It's about the difference you can make in the world. Let's strive to create a world where wealth is not just evenly distributed, but where everyone has an equal opportunity to thrive. Because that, dear listener, is the true wealth of a society.